Hello Westport, my name is Katarina. Today is Thursday, October 20th, and you're watching The Report. Report cards have been passed out last week, and we are so proud of our students who made A and AB honor roll this quarter, and we will celebrate them this Friday during Alpha Time. Attention seniors, if you have not already started your college applications, it is time to do so now. The early admission deadline for most colleges is November 1st, which is only two weeks away, so make sure you apply before it's too late. Teachers, would you like to make an announcement on the news on important dates or information? Email WPHSnews at Outlook.com so that our news crew can announce your message on the show. Now over to Alex. Hello Westport, I'm Alex, and as maybe know, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Dedicating the month of October to breast cancer awareness started in 1985 by American Cancer Society. Ribbons didn't start becoming a popular symbol of support until the 1990s, examples of this being the yellow ribbon being used to support the military during the Gulf War and the red ribbon being used to symbolize passion and hope to fight against AIDS. It's important to know that pink was not the first color to be used to raise awareness for breast cancer. It was actually light peach. In 1990, Charlotte Hay, a breast cancer survivor, was trying to raise awareness about the lack of federal funding for cancer prevention. She sent out thousands of cards with peach ribbon ribbons attached. Towards the end of 1990, the Susan G. Komen's Breast Cancer Foundation began to incorporate pink into their cause by handing out pink visors to women who participated in the Race for Cures race. During the fall of 1991, the foundation began handing out pink ribbons during their New York City race, and ever since then, pink has been used to help awareness for breast cancer. On the 14th, our student council hosted the Pink Out in the East Courtyard to support breast cancer awareness. There are many different clubs like Female Impact, The Ambassadors, and along with our soccer team that came out and had a table that was set up passing out pink ribbons and stickers. Not only did we have many activities for our students to participate in, it's also helped raise awareness and inform our student body about this cause. Hello, Westport. My name is Melanie Parr, and this is our guest, Mr. Murray. Um, how's your day? It's going well. How's yours? It's been going great. So, how's Westport treating you? Westport is treating me well. Um, I graduated about three years ago and I'm back teaching U.S. History and Sociology. It's also going well. Uh, how do you think um, this basketball season will go? Our, this year I'm projecting us to do very well. Um, we've got the pieces that we've been looking for. The guys are putting in the extra work inside and outside of the classroom to uh, kind of put us ahead and I think it's going to go pretty well. What would you say like we could do to get more students in the basketball team? Uh, just reaching out. It's uh, about who you talk to, reaching out to myself, uh, Coach Smith, uh, the criminal justice teacher, just letting them know you're interested and then we'll set up um, the times and places that you can come show us what you can do. Uh, when does the season start? How long will the games go? You know. Um, the season starts around the end of this month, beginning of next month. We go until about the end of February, beginning of March. My freshman team has about 18 games. I think varsity has around 25. And then JV also has around that 22, 23 mark. Um, so definitely a lot of games in mm -hmm. a short amount of time, but I feel like we'll be ready for it. Do you have any goals or expectations for this season? Um, personally, my goal for each team is to uh, make them better outside better men better players of course but then better uh, young adults so and then the athletic side you know win a lot of games well, thank you mr marie for being on the show um now on to cat thank you melanie that is all the news i have for today we are prompt we are prepared we are polite we are productive we are westport